guys, welcome back to Geography Explained Online. Today we're going to be looking at the skill of line of sight. What is line of sight, Steve? Line of sight is a topographic map skill. Essentially, we're just going to look out from any one point on a map, can you see another particular point? So is there anything in the way? And by anything, I basically mean, is there a hill in the way? So we look at the contour lines, look at the topography and figure out, could I see point A from point B? That sort of thing. This is a skill that gets a lot of students in the HSE, but once you know how to do it, and once you practice a few times, it's actually quite easy. So we're going to show you outside, then we're going to go into the whiteboard, and then we'll do a past HSE skill so you can see how to do it. All right? Let's get it. Let's go. Now we're going to do a little bit of a demonstration. So Susie is going to walk that way, uh, and I'm going to walk this way. We've got a few slopes going on, so the topography is changing, topography. and we're going to see how long we have to walk before we can't see each other anymore. So what's going to obstruct our line of sight? You ready, Sis? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Let's walk this way. Okay, I can definitely still see you. So as you can see, as I walk down this slope. This slope here is going to start to obstruct my line of sight. So I can just see the top of Cizio's head, we'll get behind this tree here, and suddenly no, like I can't see anything anymore. So if we look from this view here, Cizio is out of sight, and it's because we've got this topography in front of us. Here we are at the whiteboard. We have a bit of a topographic map. We have one hill here, spot high of 147. One hill here, spot high of 122. We can see the contour interval on our map here is 20. And I've got uh, what a creek in the middle, but I've got five points A, B, C, D, E. So we're just going to talk about line of sight here. Essentially, using the topographic map, using the contour lines, can, using your best judgment, do you think each of those, if there's a person at each of those points, could they see each other? The thing to do to make it very clear, and we've talked about drawing all over your broadsheet in the past, is to basically draw a line between those two points and see, essentially, is there a higher contour line in between that would block your view from one of those points. So, imagine that I had a ruler. I'm gonna start easy, A to B, right? A to B, we draw a straight line between those two points. That's a pretty straight line, they're happy with that. Um, is there any contour lines in the middle? We don't worry about features like trees or anything like that. We're really just using the, the shape of the earth. Obviously, no contour lines there. You're gonna have a clear line of sight from A to B. So could you see A from B? Yes, you could. Um, we've got another one here. We've got C up on top of the hill. Now, from C, and C is one of the, the, the highest point where I've um, drawn a letter here. Um, could you see D, for example? Again, you draw a straight line from C to D, and pretty much from C, you can pretty much see, haha, <laughs> get it, see, you can see from the top. That's good. You could see anywhere else. You could see D, you could see A, you could see B, you could even see E, right? From that point, you're gonna have a clear line of sight to everywhere. But where, which of these points would you not be able to see from the other point? Um, if you were going to go from D up here to E, you would find, we again draw a straight line. We're going from our height here, where's our contour lines? This uh, point is between 60 and 80 meters, but the, and this point is 110 to 120, but in between, we've got this hill here of over 120 meters. That would clearly block our view, right? So you would not be able to see E from D. Um, could you see D from A? Another one. Tricky, because we're not going straight up the top of the hill here, we're going sort of on the side of the hill. So again, this is where our drawing our straight lines comes into play. If we were to draw a straight line, again, I'd have a ruler and draw that neater if it was a broad sheet, but we're going from 60 or just less than 60 meters up here. We're going up to 100 and almost 120, but then we're going back down to almost 60. So you're definitely not going to be able to see or have a clear line of sight between D and A. In the multiple choice, you would probably get four options. You would probably get from, let's say, from point A, which of these points could you not see? All right, so I might give you point E, point B, point C, uh, and point D, and I'd say, which of these four can you not see? So obviously our answer here would be you couldn't see D. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. It is a sort of interpretation of contour lines question, but one's important to know how to do because they come up quite often. 
Thanks so much for that explanation there, Mr. Sizio. So what we're going to look at now is a broadsheet from a past HSC. So this is from 2013. And the question was given that if you were standing at Mount Parsons, which is just this dot here, which of these four points, Mount Dove, Wineglass Bay, or Fleurier Point, or sorry, the, in, the built up area at Coles Bay, would you not be able to see? So you've got Mount Parsons where we're starting and four points. Which one would you not be able to see? So the first thing I would do for this is find all of my points and I'll draw a line directly between them. So there's a line to Mount Dove, a line to Wineglass Bay, a line to the built up area at Coles Bay, and finally a line to this point down here. Once you've done that, you just need to look at each line and what would be in the way. So imagine you're standing here at Mount Parsons, which is 330 meters high. Mount Dove, it comes back, um, it stays at that height, sorry, and it goes up a little bit to 486, but there's nothing directly in between. There's no higher point. So it's quite likely you would be able to see Mount Dove. And I like to work through these ones as a process of elimination. So we could see Mount Dove, give it a tick. We then move down to Wineglass Bay and we have 330 meters here. And if we follow these contour lines, everything from there down to sea level is lower than the original point of Mount Parsons. So you would definitely be able to see Wineglass Bay. If you come across here, we've got Mount Parsons Point again at 330. Again, everything is going downhill until you get to Coles Bay, which is almost at sea level as well. So this point is very far elevated over the point down here at Coles Bay. So you would definitely be able to see Coles Bay too. That leaves us with this point here. And if we have a look, we've got Mount Parsons. It comes down a bit, but then it comes back up to this point here, which is 486 metres high, much higher than Mount Parsons where we begin. So we go downhill back up to a much higher point and then downhill again, which means this point here would be clearly obstructed by this higher mountain, Mount Dove, at 480 metres. So the answer here is Fleuro Point is the point that would not be able to see from Mount Parsons. And that's how we use line of sight to answer a HSC question. Hey GS Squad, thank you so much for watching. So make sure you practice in line of sight. You have a go at a few different maps and some past HSC questions because it does come up quite often in the HSC skills section. This is one of the many things that you can use contour lines for. So thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, hit the dinger, or do whatever you do, you know it by now. Um, make sure you follow us on Instagram as Instagram, well. Geography YouTube, underscore explained Instagram. underscore online. And big Instagram. shout out this week to our fantastic filmers, Steph and Gabby. How do we spell Gabby? G-A-B-B-Y is how -B -B -Y. you spell Gabby. Yep. <laughs> big shout out, thanks girls, you're excellent and There's filmers. no I's in it, it's just a Y. It is a Y. Yeah. Right. We'll see you next week, Geo Squad. Have a good one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Thank you, Samantha, for the for the throw to. I didn't throw to you. I thought you threw to me. Nope. Thanks so much for watching, GS Squad. Line of sight is a skill we get wrong sometimes. Do with uh, uh <laughs> I messed up my words. <laughs> my words weren't my Not friend. wording well. Uh, so first shout out is to ball. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the basketball courts. Yeah.